Ooh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Ah. Jeez, oh G'day YouTube. Welcome to another long-awaited video from me, Alex. Alex does DIY. It's been about 18 months, I think, now since I last did a video. It's about time that we got back into it. There's been a few questions over the last few months on you know where projects are at. I know a lot of people followed the plastic injection moulding project a few other projects along the way and you know have obviously gone quiet and people are asking how all that's gone and you know there's been some changes over the last 18 months which is really why I haven't done any videos uh, in that time. Yeah, uh, a lot of personal change, things have gone on, change of career, change of job, anyway a, lo a lot of things have changed and, and are going to continue to change. A lot of things have happened that I really regret that I didn't film along the way so there were some cool things that happened, you know, I got rid of my car, I bought a 68 Mustang that I was driving around for I think about 12-13 months before I finally sold it and I had to do a lot of work on that. It was a nice car, it was pretty cool and would have made some for some interesting video but anyway, that's another story. Oh, hang on, let me show you a picture. Okay, I'll have some pictures so uh, here's a picture of that car. I also got myself a decent lathe so uh, those videos on my new old lathe, that lathe as, as uh, piece of shit really is gone. A lathe that large, big, does everything. I'll show you a picture of that because that's also now been sold. And I'm currently standing in my garage and you will have remembered what it looked like from previous videos. I'll show you what it looks like now. It is currently full of shit from out of the house. Why is it full of shit from out of the house? That is because the house is for sale. It's our first house that we bought, my wife and I, and family. The wife and I have agreed to mutually, amicably split and go our own separate ways. So house is for sale. That brings us to my new project, which is something that I'm going to be filming a lot of. And the reason why I'm doing this video now is I've decided moving forward rather than getting myself another house or renting or buying or whatever having another mortgage I really don't want to do any of that so I'm gonna live in a motorhome I've never done it before I've never never spent any time in a motorhome I know a lot of people do it it's pretty popular you know it's a lifestyle I think will appeal to me it's it's low cost I'm gonna own own the home outright but I do have to build it when I say low cost it's relatively low cost it's gonna take a big chunk of cash but I, I don't know, I'm doing it on a massively tight budget. So yeah, so I have bought myself a bus, mini bus, middle of the range bus. It's a 2000 model Mitsubishi Rossa, it's a 24 seat bus. Yeah, I think it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna start working on that shortly to, uh, it, it was a functioning passenger bus. I bought it from a bus company. I, I let them keep the seats cause I had no need for the seats and I didn't really want the hassle of uh, trying to sell off 22 seats that I don't need. Um, nor did I want them piled up in my garage while I'm trying to sell my house. So the bus is empty apart from the driver's seat and the passenger seat. And I'll uh, take you out to have a look at that now. There we go, so there it is. There's the bus. I'll show you around the other side. We've got a bull bar on the front, which I was really happy about. It's in relatively good condition for the money I paid for it. And, uh, few little issues here and there but it seems to be relatively rust free. Let me go inside and have a look. There we go, so that's what we've got to work with. Yeah, so it should make for a pretty cool, pretty interesting project. Um, First thing I've got to do is deal with this, these floor issues you'll see. There's a, a walkway down the middle and then we've got two raised box sections either side that the uh, seats were bolted onto. So um, when you're standing in the middle, I have, I have headroom. I have, uh, you can see, plenty of headroom when I'm standing on that side, that section, but on these sections my head hits the roof, so that's no good. So um, all this really is that the middle section is directly on the chassis rails 
and these sections I think they've used like aluminium C channel or something on top of the chassis rails to frame it and then it's just plywood so I'm going to be ripping all these out take their framing out and then resheating the whole lot from front to back in some 12 mil structural ply uh, which I've got coming on in a couple of days. The next thing I've also got to deal with, or before I even do that, you'll see these things here. They are, and there's one there, they are heaters under for under seat heatings. And um, when I saw them, I, you know, you'll see that they, they just screw to the floor there. And uh, I really expected it just to be a case of unscrewing those from the floor and unplugging the electrical connection and um, taking them out but you'll see here I don't know if I can show it because this one I've already done already uh, had a look at you'll see there the two pipes they're heater hoses so you've got heater hose coming from the engine which is under this panel here running all the way down to the back of the bus so I'm going to have to come to the motor here and figure out I'll show you that there's our motor figure out where heater hose runs actually it's probably might just be those hoses there I'm not sure um, and uh, we'll have to cut them off and tap them here at this point because I certainly don't need those the motor by the way if you're interested it's a three point uh, the motor is a three point uh, 3.8, 3.9, 3.8 or 3.9, I don't remember, uh, turbo diesel, four cylinder, um, I think it runs at about 155 horsepower or something, um, it is, does have a very big intercooler at the front of the bus, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's, it's been looked up, it's clean, there's no grease or oil or nothing, you know, and, uh, so it seems to be a good motor, I'm really happy with it, so anyway, I thought I'd show you that because this is now going to be my focus between now and the time that we have to uh, be out of this house if it eventually sells, which is a whole other story at the moment. Yeah, so I'll take you all on this journey if you're interested. The layout basically is going to be what I plan on having on the bus. I want to make it as off-grid as possible. I'm going to have a double bed at the back here, some sort of storage. Um, storage under the bed as well uh, then there'll be a shower cubicle and a toilet here somewhere um, along there and then down this side I think there's going to be like a galley kitchen type thing with you know sink and oven and cooking stuff so I can feed myself and then up this end I don't know some sort of loungy seating sort of thing and TV. I want it to be pretty comfortable and a couple of big TVs in here and, and I, you know everything that I need I'm gonna put as much solar as I can on the uh, talk to you guys. I'm gonna be putting as much solar as I can on the roof um, so there's a big learning curve in relation to that. I'd really hoped when I started planning this that um, I'd be able to be 100% solar on everything but it turns out from what all the experts seem to say that that's not entirely possible particularly if I've got uh, running air conditioning there's some, there's some issue with um, it's more mini some issue with um, that your, your solar is no matter how much solar you put on it's going to be insufficient and uh, I'm told that I'll need a generator to be running off generator when I do AC um, but we'll see what happens I'm going to put plenty of fresh water storage. It'll have a grey water tank, a black water tank. Um, like I said, plenty of solar. Yeah, just try and be as self-sufficient as possible. I don't ever want to have to go and plug into anywhere. I don't want to have to pay to stop anywhere. I want to be finding places where I can, you know, camp up for a little while and, and do a lot of fishing and try and feed myself as much as I can. So, yeah, so that's also going to be interesting as well. But anyway, so that's the project obviously me being me I'm doing everything myself so a lot of learning to do all DIY anyway so if you're interested 
I hope you find something good about the videos and watch and subscribe and like and comment. Um, certainly welcome everyone's comments as always. It should be good. Anyway, so yeah, if you want to uh, follow along, be sure to subscribe to Alex Does DIY. Cheers.